The only person to ever be executed in the city of Youngstown is buried here in Oak Hill Cemetery. But as we found out on one of the Mahoning Valley Historical Society's tours over the weekend, that's just one of many stories this place has to tell. They say that the worst farmland makes the best cemeteries, which is actually part of the reason why this cemetery is in its place. What we're doing is exploring uh, Youngstown's most hallowed and historic place, and that's Oak Hill Cemetery. It's beautiful. I mean, just everything here looks absolutely gorgeous. You literally have over 25,000 individual stories. All the tombstones just have such a history and a story going with them. And we don't know all of them. Uh, not all the graves are marked, but we do know a lot. This gentleman's name is Oscar Bodges. He was born in Virginia. He was the son of an enslaved woman and her master. He and his family were freed. He moved to Pennsylvania at the age of 20 and he served in the Civil War. Oscar and Richard, his brother, they're buried with their wives here in single graves. The architecture of the uh, memorial stones themselves and the mausoleums is very interesting as well. I was just blown away by the types of tombstones there are, the different styles and what they're right. made out of. All the symbolism that goes into it. Cemetery symbols, anchors, chains, hands are clasping. So here's some examples of the trees. There's a small lamb uh, that's been faded away to the left of that. This is a picture from 1889. You'll see a lot more shrubs cast iron. Over all of that is just the story of the people who are buried here. These are uh, graves of Civil War veterans. This is that whole Powers plot here with the center obelisk. And you, we see the circle. There's these pieces around the periphery. You're going to hear a little bit of a horror story in one case. But there is one that is unmarked, and it is the only capital punishment that has taken place in the city of Youngstown. Charles Theodore Sterling, this took place in 1877, and it took over 16 minutes for all signs of life to end, and he remained on the noose for 15 minutes after that. In 1840, the population was 650 people. It was almost like a few streets on your neighborhood about that size. When people died, the bodies were placed at the corner of Wick and Wood. So right now where the uh, Rayan School is and there's the First Presbyterian Church, that was the first cemetery. The association was founded in 1852. Okay. Uh, they bought the property from Dr. Henry Manning in 1854. And then after that, they began to develop the cemetery. <laughs> history of it, just the, the people that founded Youngstown and the important people of Youngstown. Colonel Hillman dece was, became deceased in 1848, but this stone here was rededicated in 1955. Yeah, we read about a lot of these people yeah. in the published history that we have of the area, uh, in the street names that you have all over the city of Youngstown, and, and here's the final resting place for, for those individuals. People are going back to the history of Youngstown. Also, we want people to come back and enjoy this memorial park that we have here in the middle of the city. That's, that's absolutely what needs to happen here.